Hello everybody and welcome to Provis Gaming with more Rebel Inc. Escalation in our Brutal Difficulty Guide series. We finished the first three maps, now we're moving on to Pistachio Forest. I would argue one of the more difficult maps, certainly one of the most difficult of the vanilla maps. Uh, not a lot of roads to use for mobility and also several areas where your uh, insurgents can set up. Also mostly rural and remote, which means it's a little bit harder to build up some of that early stabilization so you can lose a lot of reputation pretty early on. So this is a difficult map, but I think we can make it work. We're going to be playing with the Banker today. Now this is one of the few characters that genuinely changes my playstyle. Because the way that the banker works is if you hold on to a minimum amount of money in your bank, let's say I think the magic number is $20, you start generating extra cash flow outside of your typical pay cycle through interest. So you usually want to spend just enough money that you stay above $20, but never go below that so you can have extra cash, otherwise you are just wasting a lot of potential. The problem is, in order to get some of that extra cash, the banker does have a special ability to print money, but then that results in so much inflation that you would lose a lot of it. So you get a lot of money and then you just sit on it doing nothing. Which means you waste a lot of the early game. So the banker can be tricky in that way. We're going to be going for the private donor for one of our advisors to start the game with that extra money to kind of build up that snowball a little bit faster. And ideally I'm not going to print the money because I don't feel like I have the time to sit around waiting for our inflation to tick down. Let's play on Brutal Difficulty. I've already named the operation. It's called Orange Beetle because we like to confuse our enemies and give them no clues as to what's about to happen. Now, for our HQ placement, I think this is the only real viable location. It is an urban area, a good junction of what roads do exist. Another potential area would be right up over here, but I think this is slightly better. All right, let's go for our standard opening. We're going to go for the district representatives, effective procurement, go for all the education initiatives, and then the extra intelligence. Now, notice we are below the uh, $20 threshold that we are looking for. So we're not making the extra cash flow right now, but I don't really feel like we can afford to wait for too darn long, much as I would like to. This is where you can print the extra $12, but look at this, you get up to about 100 uh, in, uh, inflation, and it takes months to properly burn that down. So you waste a lot of opportunity. But notice, by the way, we are uh, above 20. We haven't hit our pay cycle, but we just got an extra dollar. You're going to see that pop up occasionally when you do this. Let's go for the outreach team so we can start building things up a little faster. Uh, I do want to get some more initiatives here. Again, staying above 20 wherever possible. We're going to want to get some infrastructure intelligence right here. And probably some roads for the mobility if we can, but we may not get that option. Let's go for the telecoms uh, a little bit early again. We're sticking above $20 even right now. Let's let that inflation burn down a little bit more. Always try to keep that below 15% when you have the opportunity. Uh, Anti-corruption level 1. That's going to cost me a bit more than I can afford if I want to keep things going. Uh, what are people concerned about? Right now, it looks like some electricity, jobs, and more education. Education. Um, we probably have already got enough education going, so I think that's fine. Um, we could go for the international assistance, but I'm going to hold off on that. Let's go ahead and grab the developmental discussions so we can start planning for some jobs. We are going to be having military uh, initiatives authorized fairly soon. Let's go ahead and grab the development bank. Okay. Now, they're not worried about jobs, per se, in the urban region I care about, but that's fine. I just want to get this area stabilizing as quick as possible. Get that extra six uh, reputation right here. Let's go for the anti-corruption. Now, we're below 20 again. We're losing the public relations battle, and we're going to have to get the PR firm. Um, honestly, I actually kind of think we need that now. I know we're going to lose some more cash, but we need that stability to get a little bit higher. One of the issues I have with the pistachio forests, if things do not go well and you cannot control those insurgents early on... Uh, you don't end up getting enough stability, regional stability, and you start losing tons of reputation super duper fast. Now, military initiatives have already been authorized. That means that somewhere on the map there is a camp. I just don't know where it is. So I'm not going to worry about it this exact second. Let's go ahead and grab a coalition soldier. You can deploy your coalition soldiers where you think the camp might be, and if you catch it, you can destroy it very quickly before it has a chance to spawn much. It's just on a map this big, there are so many potential spawn locations, I don't see it as a very good uh, option right now. Now let's see, what else should we do? Probably could go for more anti-corruption efforts. Um, people are still mostly concerned about jobs, let's go for livestock for the rural development. Okay, so they spawned right here, so it's probably in one of these areas. It also could be right here, I've had times when the uh, insurgents actually spawn directly on their camp in this area. Let's try placing right here and just scout for the camp. They will siege this down, but I'm not too worried about it right now. Okay, not there. Uh, I bet you it's in here. Let's try. Could be down in this forest, I'm aware, but let's just let's just give it a shot. 
Um, I'm going to go for probably some more anti-corruption. And I'm probably going to go for some water supplies to start building that up. There. Yeah, there's the camp. Okay. This is one common starting location, not too unusual. Uh, we do need to get ourselves some more coalition troops because we can encircle and kill these guys quickly. I would much prefer that they spawned over in the mountains. But we may not get lucky with that. Okay, so we're going to destroy the camp at least. Let's go ahead and grab some more coalition soldiers. Okay, I'm going to try to force you guys out. I'd like to keep you guys in the corner. They spawned right here. Actually, change plans. Go here because there is a camp in this forest. Now, this is where things can start to get a little hairy because we have insurgents already spread out across the map. They're trying to go after my HQ as well, which I cannot allow. I'm going to go ahead and grab one more coalition troop, and then we need to keep focusing on the concerns of these people because I need to build up this regional stability quickly or else we're going to lose a lot. We did get our HQ up to uh, capacity, so that's good. Um, let's try pushing these guys back and see if we can corner them and kill them quickly. I'm going to move you guys down here. We're going to try to push them back. And here's the good news. The HQ acts as a garrison, which means if we can force these guys into this corner and then move this troop over here, they will count as being fully surrounded. Unit here, unit here, garrison acting like a unit here, and then being attacked directly, they just go and despawn. Now, again, usually you want the insurgents to kind of go where they want to go, and you don't worry about it, but I would much prefer they go into the mountains where I can easily control them. Over here, I, I, I don't know. Splitting them up, I feel like I need to kill them pretty quick. Uh, let's try to fight them back. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let's try to reinforce over here and kill this faster. I could use the airstrikes. Let's go for the PR for the extra strategic communications. The good news is the insurgents don't control a lot of regions, so we're not losing a lot of reputation right now, and our regional stability is actually looking pretty good. This is where I'm going to go ahead and start moving these guys up north. We're going to try to kill them. We'll clear out the remaining zones. I just found a camp. Okay. Let's start training up some national soldiers and reduce our corruption again. We lost a lot of money, but you know what? Sometimes that's okay. The banker gets the extra money, but you don't need to rely on it. Notice that these guys are now dead. Perfect. Let's run back over here. Try to clear out these zones real quick. Though we don't have a lot of roads at the moment. So we should probably work on that. I do not like losing this semi-urban area, but oh well. I'm okay with these guys being in the mountains. I don't like that they have a camp, but we have to deal with it. We are stabilizing a few zones. Let's try following behind once again. Keep pushing these guys back. What's going on here? Coalition wants to withdraw soldiers. I'm going to negotiate. They are withdrawn temporarily. They agree to prioritize the replacement, so we should get it back a little faster. Sometimes you also get some extra cash. Now, we've stabilized fairly nicely right now, and we have not lost, like, any meaningful amount of reputation, which is interesting. Um, I'm actually going to try to sneak in here and see if we can't destroy this camp. Now, losing the soldier over here, that's an issue. So let's go ahead and grab another coalition troop. I need to push you back. Okay, let's do this. I'm going to hope that these guys retreat down south. Okay, we've gotten our soldiers back already. That was pretty quick. Let's move them over here. Uh, now, more initiatives. What else can we do? Telecoms, we're already working on that. Electricity, we don't have that yet. Mostly people are still concerned about jobs. Um, okay, let's go for some vocational training. Doesn't cost a lot. And I could try going for something like universal justice for a lot more support. Not going to worry about that this second, though. I don't have garrisons, and I feel like I do need them. We are going to destroy this camp, which is very nice. What's going on here? We have an airstrike. Cover it up. 26% chance of failure, but we still are all right. Let's go ahead and get another national soldier training. Okay, so far so good. Um, we're going to try to move you forward. I'm a little concerned about these guys. Oh, what's going on over here? Sorry. Uh, foreign rival. Okay, so this is where you want to pick up the foreign relations office. Back out. Deal with it again. Subtle pressure. There we go. Okay. Got some extra national troops. I'm going to move them over... I'm honestly not even that eager to fight over here anymore. Uh, I'm going to actually back them up. We'll lose some reputation, but that's okay. Let's back them up over here. I don't feel like fighting in this quagmire of the mountains, especially when we gain pretty much nothing out of it. Um, right now, we're in a pretty dominant position. We've got more coalition troops than I really need. Let's go for some more anti-corruption efforts. Okay, looking solid. They're not going anywhere anytime soon. This is where I would like to place down some garrisons. Again, losing out on that extra cash flow, but a garrison right here is perfect. Because this is on the front lines of where I think I'm going to have to contain them going forward. 
We're going to move these guys forward and try to keep them out of these mountains. Um, same here, honestly. If we can just keep them right here, this is fine. This is a really effective contain. Now, we are losing some reputation. Why? Uh, mainly from corrupt corruption, and we haven't got enough stability yet at this stage of the game. It's kind of ramping up its expectations as time goes on. Which, you know, alright, that's fine. Um, what else should we be doing? Well, more telecommunications, more jobs. Um, I'm already building most of those. Let's go for the remote subsidies. Build jobs in the remote areas where I think they are going to be the most needed, since this is a very remote map at the moment. Okay, looking solid. We could use our extra troops to go in here and try to actually kill things, but I don't really need to right now. Uh, let's go for the drones. And let's go for universal justice for the extra support level. Start building this up as quick as we can. Lack of stability, yeah, we're losing 0.5 per month because we just don't have enough regional stability right now. Oh, found a camp. Let's go down there. We'd like to also get the interpreters and guides so we stop upsetting people with our coalition troops. Stop losing some of that um, stability. Let's see if we can destroy this quickly. Concern over lack of electricity. Alright, let's finally buy it. Whenever you see that pop up, it's, it's urgent. Get rid of it. Looks like we were to stop any of the insurgents from spawning. That is excellent. Uh, I'm going to bring you over here just in case they push south, which it looks like they are doing right now, and I'd like some reinforcements to make sure we win. Uh, we are going to threaten the insurgents, and then we are going to apply some more subtle pressure. We did decrease their capabilities. Excellent. Uh, what to do next? Let's see. Telecommunications, more health concerns. Let's grab that. Let's go for the dirt roads, so we can get a little bit more mobility for our troops. We can actually place a garrison right here, which is a little aggressive, but it's nice in the sense that it's going to create a very effective bottleneck. Now all I need is four troops, and we can clear out everything in the mountains. Because I have a spot here, spot here, place down three more troops here, and then one here, and they're all dead. Which means we're now in a position where if I, if I lose all my coalition troops and just have uh, national troops, we are still fine. How are we looking here? Lack of stability is still an issue. We need to be keep building more things. Um, still not happy about their jobs, apparently. Okay, well. Commercial support. I think we're going to go for crop development, since, again, we have mostly rural maps. Rural. Rural. It's a hard word to say. Sorry. Coalition deployment is over soon. No problem. We have a surplus at the moment. We are building some good amounts of stability. Uh, corruption is now our primary concern, not the lack of stability. We have enough regions stable that we're okay. Good. So we're in a dominant position. We're going to be winning just fine. Let's start training up some more troops and also give them some power in the form of extra better guns. Destroyed that. Doing fine. You're about to leave. Um, we're going to go ahead. Well, let's wait until these guys fully retreat. So they're doing now. There we go. Now we'll send you home. And we're going to move you forward. Okay. Doing fine. Doing fine. Uh, what else should we work on? Let's see. Um... We could go for polio eradication. The fun thing about some of this late game medical tech is you don't even need intel to start go ahead and send out the vaccines. So you can start getting some extra support and reducing hostility even in areas you don't really control and know everything about. Which is kind of funny. I don't know if it's absolutely necessary, but it can be nice. Let's apply some more subtle pressure. Did not work. Alright. Inflation, uh, corruption is looking a little high. We're going to go for a corruption purge. And then we are going to go for the... Let's go for the civil assistance to try and roll out some of these um, initiatives a little bit faster, like we're doing down over here, for example. Just build some of this stuff faster. You actually can move over here now. I need to get some more intelligence and build initiatives in areas where they're not going to spawn. I'm not worried about them right here, but I am worried about this corner. These guys want to go home. Uh, we could probably arrange that really without any problem. I'm going to go ahead and send you back. They're not fully contained right now, but that's okay. Whoop. We found a camp. See, this is why we check these things. Okay, what else do we need? More telecommunications, apparently. Alright, I'll build it. I will build it, don't you worry. Ooh, we found another camp. Let's go ahead and move back. Um, let's go ahead and grab the National Travel Logistics. Now, a couple other special advantages that the banker has. You have the hiring of lobbyists, which just gives you seven reputations straight up. So if you have some extra money and you're a little bit in danger, go ahead and pick that up. Another option is to go for the business advisors. Soldiers increase the local support levels, and it does stack with the civil integration all the way up here. So you can get a lot of extra support just by having lots of soldiers with the uh, banker. It's a pretty strong setup. We are going to go ahead and start training our last national soldier so I don't have to worry about the coalition. We're going to build some more roads. Corruption's looking a little high. I would like to buy that down. Okay, so we got rid of that. Uh, let's go ahead and move you over here and move you over 
here because we're about to lose this coalition troop. Kind of would have liked the airstrike to target the things that actually matter, but alright. Let's threaten them once again. They will be antagonized. Sitting on a fair bit of money. Let's go ahead and do Corruption Purge. This seems like a weird spot for a garrison, I'm not going to lie. Um, I guess I'll build it. It does make it easier to control this area right here, but it's kind of weird. Send you guys home. Move you forward. Should be fine. There we go. We are going to increase the pay of our national soldiers. They are pushing down into these mountains. I'd like to fight them back. We have a garrison, and we can get some more reinforcements, so we can try to make that work. They're going to push over here, but that's fine. Airstrikes are doing their job. Um, I'm going to go for what? Let's see. I think we're fine in terms of initiatives. I don't think there's much else we need to do there. We'll go for more roads, just so I can have a little bit more mobility. Okay, we're going to push these guys back. And then we're going to push you over here, move you forward. Okay, looking nice and stable. This is what you like to see. I'm going to threaten them one more time, and then we're going to probably go ahead and do the uh, insurgents need to talk in the future. Let's go ahead and increase the power of my national soldiers, because we're about to lose the last coalition soldier. Could hire some new ones if I need to as a backup. Found their camp. That's fun. We still haven't even gotten the drones at this point, and we're still doing all right. Uh, now, unfortunately, we have to send these guys back, and there are still, it looks like, insurgents in the area. Unfortunately. So let's try pushing forward a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and let's reinforce to make sure we win this. But I think we actually can now push you here and start clearing them out of the mountains and contain them a bit more. Approve the oversight whenever you can. We need to go ahead and grab... Uh, we already do have the drones. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Let's go for... Um, Let's go for some extra health programs and education for the extra support. Okay. There we go. Pretty good network going on right here. Let's move you over this direction. Okay, they're actually going in a direction I did not expect them to. I guess it's because we kind of did leave them no option. Uh, if we move you here, and then you down here, we can cut them off and kill them. We are going to talk to the insurgents and start building up that reputation. Apply some more subtle pressure. Keep bringing them down. We can go for the democratic transition and the police recruitment. Police is actually really important. Um, even if insurgents spawn in an otherwise safe area, if you have police and it's a small number of insurgents, like level 1 strength. Actually, if you look right here, for example, you can see the insurgents have a strength of 5. If it's like 1 strength, police can just kill them on their own. So police can be nice to just help you contain regions and actually not have to move your troops around to deal with every single threat. Okay, I'm going to move you guys here. We are wasting budget. I'm not sure that I agree with that. I think that we're just being smart. Let's go for the civil integration and the business advisors. We're increasing support wherever we place down our soldiers. We're going to prioritize the elections for the free reputation. And then we are going to ban Insurgents. We are easily going to have over 100 reputations, so we should get a very good score out of this arrangement. Okay, this is not quite enough to contain them. We need some more um, we need some more reinforcements in this area. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and grab the highways and also some local police expansion. Notice we didn't even have to go for the international assistance. We're doing just fine on that front. I don't think international assistance is actually crucial at all. Um, it can pay for itself, but honestly, the amount of time it takes, or amount of money it takes to uh, buy the international assistance to start with, I think costs you a little bit too much. Alright, we're going to back you up over here and again just use the soldiers to build up support. We've got them contained, so we're fine. Hand in all your weapons, please. And then we are going to do full elections. And then we are going to buy the human terrain system. Don't antagonize the locals. Um, we are going to go for some extra health care and let that corruption burn down a little bit more. Okay, another garrison here seems perfectly fine. Move you forward and let's go ahead and kill them. They should be completely surrounded. Thank Whoops, take that back. We need to redeploy in... Uh, not quite there, actually. Do this. This garrison should be able to keep them contained, too, so we're fine. Insurgents apologize. Do we have another camp? Yes, we do. Okay. Time to get some uh, more often um, airstrikes and also better combat reinforcements for our garrisons. Okay, so they're contained right now. No issues. Uh, international forces are allowed to with, uh, stay here as long as they dang well need to. Let's go ahead and move in this direction. 
Okay, they are dead. Perfect. Now we can go and attack. I'm gonna destroy this camp. Whoop. Let's do this first, actually. Now the camp's dead. Uh, we are gonna provide extensive aid to get a lot of uh, zone support. They are running back where I want them. Perfect. And this should be easy. All right, uh, we are gonna demand, no, we're gonna reject the deal? No, let's just go for demand concessions. We already have plenty of reputation. I don't wanna accept the deal until we've actually finished off the last of these guys, though. Let's go for some more education initiatives. Let's go for some commercial support or something, I don't know. Always keep increasing your, um, what am I trying to say? Oh crap, they got away. Always try to increase your support level, regardless of how things are going. Just so you don't have more insurgents pop up in friendly regions. Let's apply some subtle pressure. We are going to be going for some remote subsidies. A couple levels of those so we can build really fast here. These guys should be surrounded. Nope, they're not. Wait. Uh, wait. You go here. Okay. I'm okay with losing one reputation. I want to keep them where they are, though. Demand concessions one more time. There we go. Now with the garrisons, we should be able to finish them off. Uh, we are going to donate to charity. We are going to approve with oversight. The Cultivation Center, which actually just got me an achievement called Super Squirrel for building a pistachio plantation on the pistachio forest map. And now we can accept a peace deal right about now. Easy mode. All right, so that went extremely well. Uh, we handled the existing insurgents pretty nicely. Um, getting that early stability is really, really important. It's easy to kind of get uh, tunnel visioned on getting a lot of military um, units and extra technology. However, it's very easy to lose track of that regional stability modifier and start bleeding reputation super duper quickly on this map. So be aware of that and keep rolling out more initiatives, get the PR campaigns, and so on. Five stars, 14,000 points, isn't too shabby. All in all, not a bad performance with the banker. All right, next time we'll be playing with the smuggler on the distant step, but we're going to end this video here, so thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, then I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.